My name is Dietmar Oysterhus. I work in the production systems department at Miele's main factory in Gütersloh, where I'm responsible for electrical installations for the systems and machinery we build here in-house. We're now using a somatic S7-1500 for the first time on a new production line for washing machine drums. The S7-1500 is configured with version 12.0 of the TIA portal. We also use comfort panels from the 900 range. The S7-1500 controller is very easy to operate for those who are familiar with the classic world and the type of operation found there. However, the new operation level makes things much easier in the commissioning phase. The thing I noticed is that initial commissioning with the new control panel on the CPU is much easier thanks to the outstanding user interface. Using the TIA portal, we have now got the system to the stage where it is almost ready for serial production. During commissioning, we were able to clearly recognize potential in configuration thanks to the intermeshing of the HMI and PLC projects. We were also much faster in the commissioning phase. I estimate that you could easily save up to 20% in engineering workload for configuration by using the new TIA portal, because the behavior is much simpler and you don't have to jump from one program package to the other as often. The major advantage of working with the S7-1500 and the TIA portal is that you can rediscover a lot of parts you are familiar with from the old world, but there are also significant improvements in configuration and in the hardware, thanks to the new system diagnostics integrated into the S7-1500, with the result that there is a lot less configuration work to be done. We started the project with an S7-300 controller and had started the commissioning when the pilot S7-1500 came along. Then we changed over and migrated the Step 7 project to a TIA Portal V12 project. From that point on, we only configured with the TIA Portal. We found it really easy to work with the TIA portal. The TIA portal automatically took care of most of the steps in the migration process, and then we only had to enter a few manual changes. From the user point of view, we at Miele naturally try to get the most user-friendly software tools so that when our systems are up and running, the maintenance staff can make simple program changes during the maintenance phase or eliminate faults. Programmänderungen machen können oder auch äh, Störungen zu beseitigen. I think the solution we have today in the TIA portal is completely in line with this policy and that we won't see any major maintenance problems in the future.